I haven't done a will for a while, and things have gotten a little scary a couple of times recently. I know the police are posted up in my neighborhood, like not just one of them, like five of them, and I'm talking about like five vehicles, and uh, I feel like things have gotten a little stressful with old Vlad out there, and uh, it's not just Vlad. If there's anyone's gonna murder me, it's that Justice Department. So, um, I haven't updated my will since Lizzie Grant and I broke up. Well, they, we broke up in my mind. I guess we had already broken up before that. Um, see, Lizzie and I had a weird relationship. For, for a while there, I was always writing about this girl named Beth, Elizabeth. And uh, talking about how special of a woman she was. And uh, I didn't know I was talking about Lizzie, I, I guess. And one day I found out it was her. And that was around that time she came out with that album with uh, the Cherry song. And uh, she had that other song, White Mustang. I used to drive a white Mustang. It's what I took her to prom in, I think. I don't know, it was a long time ago. And um, basically, uh, one day I realized that all these things I'd been seeing, like Tropico, Dear John, oh, I'm John. I didn't even notice it. Uh, well, I did notice it, but I didn't notice it. Because at that point, I, I did think people needed me to come in and save them. And so uh, one day I realized that uh, I'm the one that lives for love. Because I just want to live for love. And I, I realized that um, this woman that was the most talented singer on the planet um, was saying things that referenced my lyrics. And I, I thought, at that point, I, I'd already thought I was a little famous because I started getting some mentions on Twitter, but it wasn't, I, was, I wasn't tagged. I was like referenced, like a tweet would reference me. Like it would joke about whatever I was doing. Like if I was doing opposites, it would do opposites. Um, but that was after I, I started to think Taylor Swift and I were in a relationship and uh, basically uh, I, I wasn't sure about this for a long time, but I thought that they had switched her out and we went running on this golf course in the rain. Uh, it was, it was like the funnest day. It, she, was, she was my neighbor, and she looked a lot like my neighbor back then, and I never hung out with my neighbor, but one day I decided to hang out with my neighbor. And uh, I went out on this golf course with her, and we went slip and sliding on, in the rain, and went and looked at the city lights from the top of Santone. And it, was, it, was, it sure was beautiful. And um, I didn't know it was her. I, I, and then um, I found out later, I started to think it was her later, and I started to think that, that their song, uh, Enchanted, was was about me, um, even if it used the words from some other guy. Uh, but long story short, uh, I had this relationship for a long time, which was kind of a placeholder relationship to piss off someone else so that they wouldn't like me. Because let's face it, they know one thing about me. Uh, I ain't perfect. And there's nothing like watching a man who doesn't know you know him for that long make mistakes. Uh, but all right, so long story short, um, Taylor and I did not work out and I embarrassed myself real bad. And I think that's when I lost a lot of Twitter followers. And that was around the time I decided to quit Twitter. But I also only had like five followers, probably because the government was censoring what I was seeing. And um, it was weird because like people would know who I was. But then the government was censoring what I was seeing. It was, it was, it was, it was like, it was like really weird how like I was famous, but I wasn't famous because I clear because if there's anything a famous person knows is you're not famous. You can be like, what, like John Favreau or some shit like that. You can go walk down the street and people will be like, I know you, I know you. Are, are, are you, are you that guy from this? And you know what? No one knows that guy's like one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. But, but the, he's the guy that no one knows who he is, but they know who he is. And, um. All right, so uh, it don't it don't matter if you're famous. No one knows 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 you. Even if you're that famous, and that's a person on TV, and all I'm saying is I'm not on TV, so it's very easy for me to not be famous and famous at the same time, and 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 for people to have no idea, and people to have a very clear idea at the same time, and for me to not know. And that's what was the weirdest thing about the government censoring what I see. Anyways, uh, I'm supposed to be doing my last will and testament because now Taylor and I ended up breaking up during, during well, multiple times, but we really broke up when I was in grad school, and that's when I started to think that this girl um, 
was Zoe Deschanel and it turned out it, it was not and that they were lying to me to confuse me and that person now I think is um, Molly Ray Cyrus. And uh, I realized for a lot of people it's like that's an interesting choice for a, 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 a presidential candidate and, and a wife and the truth is uh, I'm not choosing it as a presidential candidate. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm choosing them as a person that um, I like the way they make me feel and I like being around them and my dream is to be able to be around someone that makes me happy more often than not happy. Um, so uh, my last will and testament, everything over $2 million goes to Miley Ray Cyrus. And uh, I was thinking a lot of this stuff could go to the Smithsonian if, if, if someday like my death results in something major, like my guitar, um, what do y'all want? My camera would be, it's weird. I feel like my camera's worth nothing, but it probably might actually be a Smithsonian type thing. Um, yeah, All, basically, um, I was thinking up to $2 million goes to my family, but they don't really need it probably. But Miley doesn't need it either. But Miley's who I want to have the rights to all my stuff, my music. And, and I, know, I know everyone's going, well, you've been wrong so many times about this girl that you've been looking for. And, uh, oh well. If I'm wrong about it and Miley has my rights to my music, what's she going to do with them? Like, is she going to have too much money now? Sure seems like she's spending her money trying to help the homeless, trying to help the poor, being like a real Christian. Uh, it's kind of crazy when you start to think about how the gay, non-binary person is the person that's taking care of the poor, that's feeding the hungry. And when you, when you, when you look at that verse that says, uh, this was the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. They had an abundance of wealth, but they did not help the poor. You got to ask yourself, uh, why is it the people that aren't Christians that are the ones out there helping the poor the most? And so uh, that, 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 that's my real concern about this conservative party and how, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm nice and I'm picking people because I'm going, I want to save that soul. I see Cat Tampa, I like her. I want to save that soul. I want to get her away from those people. I want her to stop being a tool for evil. Because, I mean, you can say, like, you can say Fox News reports on things no one else reports on. That's true. Congratulations. That's not what it's about. It's about the big picture. And the big picture is Fox News is about destroying the planet. So everything over $2 million, um, I was initially thinking Bloomberg Philanthropies. But the, the big thing is I want to make sure that I'm giving my if I have like a boatload of money, like a shitload, then I wanna make sure um, it's not getting spent poorly. So I'd rather give to someone who's so rich that they're not even gonna spend it, but that's trying to focus, to focus on things that matter, or that is focusing on things that matter, like cleaning up the ocean. And so I would give it to Bill and Melinda Gates. He sure seems focused on vaccines and shit like that. It's like, all right, that's fine, but no. I'm more focused on the ocean, anything environment related. So I'd like to give it to Bloomberg, but then I could give it to Miley. But then it's like, well, you got to assume that Miley is the person you're talking about. Because uh, it's one thing to give her all, all my rights to my art, my book, my music, my my videos, my, um, well, my paintings. Not all my paintings. My parents own some of these paintings. Um, actually, all my paintings go to my parents, um, no matter what. Um, let me think here. I don't know. That's it. That's all I can think of. I don't really own much. I mean, I got I got stuff that no one really no one would really want. But I don't know. I feel like uh, some people have been caught with scopes and rifles lately, and uh, I'm very grateful for the police. <laughs>